If you've ever built a web application or an API, you might have come across the term JSON Web Tokens or JWTs for short. These are a standardized way of securely transmitting information between parties as a JSON object and are typically used for authentication and authorization in web applications and APIs. A JWT is composed of three parts, the header, the payload, and the signature. The header is a JSON object, typically containing the hashing algorithm and the token type. The payload is also a JSON object and contains the data we want to transmit in the token. Typically, we pass in the name of the user and some kind of identification, but in the end, it's up to the developer to decide. For the signature, we first need to do a base64 URL encoding on the header and the payload and create a random secret key. We then do the hash of these three values and we get the signature. The final stage of a JWT will be a string containing a concatenation of the two base64 URL encoded JSON strings of the header and the payload, and finally, the signature. When the user logs into a system or a web page, it sends the login information to the server. If the information is valid, then the server returns the newly created JSON web token and stores the secret. The client can then include the JWT and subsequent requests to the server to prove their identity by sending the token in the authorization header. The server can then decode and verify the JWT using the secret key, which is only known to the server. If the JWT is valid, then the server can grant the user access to restricted resources or perform other actions on their behalf. One of the main advantages of JWTs is that they can be easily decoded and verified by any party with a secret key making them a great tool for distributed systems and APIs. However, one big drawback is the possibility of the token being hijacked by a third party and the server cannot prevent this person from performing actions on your behalf. I hope this helped you better understand one of the many ways you can handle user authentication in your project. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. And if this helped, please hit like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!